outside Main Street Cinema. Okay, my name is Sue Finkel. Steve Mead. This is Bobby Stack <laughs> from the Bronx. Shannon McMillan. Daddy is I. And I'm Shelly. Mason McMillan. And I'm Rachel Temkin. And we're on Main Street in Flushing, Queens at the Main Street Cinema. I've been going here since I was little. It's a dump, but it's a lovable dump. You know, it's a little bit old, older movie theater. It's not the most modern. But, uh, you know, the lights are dark anyway when the movie's on. I just try not to move my feet around too much when uh, they're stuck to the floor. You know? <laughs> Joseph Unger was the architect who built the theater. It was renovated not that long ago, but they kept the old marquee. And uh, they, it's different. The theater is different now because they've made uh, uh, several theaters out of what used to be one theater. The area we were in tonight, this afternoon, was the, uh, the balcony which used to be the smoking section many years ago. I'm glad they don't smoke there anymore. I like it then than I do now. It's not what it used to be no more. It went down some. But it's still a great place to go. And they keep coming back, don't they? Something keeps bringing them back. This movie theater has been a bargain for many, many years. They only charge $5, and it makes a big difference in this economy if you can save a couple of dollars. You know, movies in New York, city are over ten dollars so it's a great bargain a new york city bargain it's a jewish neighborhood so the the parking is is uh, very available on saturday saturday is shabbat friday nights and saturday mornings jewish people observe their faith so in this mostly jewish neighborhood main street cinema is about the only thing open and on passover for some reason even though it's a jewish neighborhood you can't eat the candy that's at the concession stand it's not kosher and for passover it's got to be kosher and being a Jewish neighborhood, you'd think they'd understand that. But I guess they don't. So when my family and I went to see a movie sometime around Passover, we couldn't eat any of that food. So my parents packed about five bags of candy, shoved it underneath my brother's sweatshirt, and made him look all chunky and fat. My dad snuck some candy in his fanny pack thing, and my mom snuck it in her purse. The funniest part was my brother walking into that movie theater, trying to keep all that candy and shoved under his sweatshirt. But even if it's not Passover, I sneak candy in. But I'm not the only one. You know, we brought our own raisinets in. <laughs> With the economy being so bad and all. I brought uh, Whoppers into the movie theater. <laughs> Instead of the raisinets. Yeah, I brought Tic Tac. Oh, yeah. I had M&M's. I ate them first. <laughs> I was so tempted to get the popcorn. You could just smell it. <laughs> Main Street Cinema is a place full of people who are full of memories. Yeah, I'm 66 and I've been coming to this theater since I've been... In my teens, I've been coming here a long time. People spend good parts of their lives there and have a lifetime of memories to show for it. We used to come on Saturdays and, uh, you know, with the people I hung out with, and I'm still coming here with friends, different friends. This was a great age of films. And not only that, but the theaters were completely different than the way we know them today. The movie theaters were huge back then. So big you could hide. And uh, I remember seeing a lot of old movies, you know, Planet of the Apes and stuff. A planet where man is the lowest order of living things. In the movie theater. And the superior beings are apes. We used to sneak up to the balconies, you know, you could make out up there with your girl. It was good. It was great back then. Not in movie theaters, you know, tiny. This thing is tiny. It holds like 70 people. But, uh, you know, we lost kind of that, you know, that old movie days. The people who don't know those days are the kids who were having their first experiences right now. In each one of those little six theaters are a whole new generation of kids with stories of their own. How about your chipmunk? Yeah! That was Shannon McMillan's first movie. She saw it at this theater. You liked it? Um, it was nice. And then when I first came in, it was good in the movie. And of course, How do you think it's going? there's that one memorable part of every movie that just doesn't seem to leave you. Bow, chicka, wow, wow, chicka, wow, wow. Tell her she can see you. That was my favorite part. <laughs> I remember that one. Look, Family it fun. It open. Oh. Oh. So you're excited? Yes. <laughs> All right, well, enjoy your movie. Okay, you too. Chicka, wow, wow. I can't. I can't. Chicka, wow, wow.